Hi, I'm Aaron with PRP Seats, and today we're going to take a little closer look at our CJYJ mounts. So when you're pulling apart a vehicle that's uh, 20 years or older, you never know what you're going to get. In this case, when we were removing the stock seat from the stock pedestal, there's four bolts here. The two front came out great. The back two, we ended up having to get a sawzall in there and cut these two out. But basically, that's what you need to do to run the PRP seat adapters. We still have a good pedestal here. We just need to get the stock seat off of it. <clears throat> so now we're going to run the PRP seat adapters on this YJ to adapt these sliders to your new PRP seats. Since the stock pedestal has so much recline built into it, we have made our adapters to where it raises the rear of the seat and drops the front of the seat to end up at a perfect seating height with the PRP seat. You're gonna to wanna to lay these mounts down on top of the sliders. You'll notice that the bolt holes line up with the stock seat bolt holes. On the passenger side, you want the tabs that are facing the outside of the mount on the drivers or against the door and the tabs in the middle of the mount they're towards the door you're going to use two five sixteenths you're going to use four five sixteenths bolts that prp has provided and you're going to slide them from the bottom up and tighten this up this will ensure if you put them on the other way, the bolt will interfere with the seat slider and stop your seat from sliding. So when you set your PRP seat in here, you want the four tabs to drop down and the tabs towards the door or towards the outside of our mounts. Same with the inside tab. They're towards the door from the inside tab. So once you line up all four, just slip the bolts through. Once you've gotten all four bolts tight, You'll notice on the passenger side, your stock flip mechanism still works. You can slide the seat forward and still have nice access to the back of the vehicle. 